The 2015 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series schedule consisted of 11 events playing out on a variety of oval and road course circuits. Race 1 from Canadian Tire Motorsport Park roared as the main long weekend marked the start to the racing season. This iconic raceway showcases the talents and entertainment of this truly national series. With one corner to go, Scott Steckley and Andrew Ranger tangled as they sped to the finish line. Rookie Gary Kluke drove through the smoke and took his first career NASCAR win. Next up, the series ventured into Quebec. The quarter-mile autodrome Chaudière was the stage for a larger-than-life shootout and the Series 100 start. Jason Hathaway and his Team 3 Red Chevrolet would emerge victorious at the end of 300 hard-fought laps. Sunset Speedway in Innisfil, Ontario welcomed NASCAR in mid-June. The packed house witnessed a 300-lap event with only two cautions. Alex Tagliani took charge and would rewrite the record book, lapping the entire field. It was Tag's first win on an oval. July was a busy month for the Tour. First up was the road course at Circuit Icar in Mirabel, Quebec. The 100-kilometer race sped by quickly as the field watched their manners, this time completing all 30 laps caution-free. Kevin Lacroix, the 26-year-old from St. Eustache, Quebec, masterfully drove to victory lane in only his second career NASCAR start. Only six days later, the Tour trucked to Edmonton International Raceway. Hathaway held a slim points lead over Clute and Steckley going into race five. In the past four events, four separate winners had emerged. The number 22 Canadian tire machine of Scott Steckley would continue that streak. His Dodge proved tough, outpacing the competition. Four days and one province later, the series set up shop in Saskatoon for a midweek showdown. This fast two-lane dream held court under a ravenous sky. The bad weather held off while Stackley stormed to the front, taking win number two and control of the points lead. Race 7 was hosted by Autodrome St. Estache. This flat four-tenths of a mile oval is a tough, grinded-out journey. The 22 Canadian Tire Dodge of the reigning points leader, Scott Steckley, dominated the night, which was highlighted by some short track scars. Steckley led for the majority, but a broken axle set up a green-white checker shootout, eventually won by Andrew Ranger for his 20th career win. As August began, the series headlined at the Grand Prix of Trois-Rivières. The stout field held court and showed why they are the main show. Ranger and Lacroix ruled the streets and a last lap bump and run, concluding with a half-mile drag race gave Lacroix his biggest win of his career. Riverside Speedway in Antigonish, Nova Scotia hosted race number nine. Steckley held a slim lead over Ranger in the points, but it was Kennington who was fast early. The 22 Canadian Tire Dodge of Scott Steckley finding its stride got into an unfair rhythm and lapped nearly the entire field on his way to a third win. Race 10 at Canadian Tire Motorsport Park witnessed names like Lapsovich, Tagliani, Ranger, Dumoulin, Scannell, and Lacroix on top of the leaderboard. Yet at the finish line, it was an emotional Jason Hathaway who snuck in for the victory, setting up a three-way points battle for the 2015 championship.